Well, 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 hello my dear lovely beans and welcome to a more unusual game I would say because I stumbled over this game by pure coincidence and I thought hmm might be fun don't know it's a it's a shorter game so don't don't hit me stop it so yeah it's, it's a shorter game so I thought it might be fun to just try it out and have fun with it <laughs> and yes we are going to look for Futski He's somewhere lost up in there, and we have to meow, we have to um get him back. <laughs> you were just innocently looking at this and found this game. Yes, <laughs> it's totally innocently. Ooh, hyena tummy timeout. Oh, that that's a new emote. Since when does he have that? Ooh, that's a good emote. I like it. <laughs> But yeah, we are basically playing Meerkat Simulator. <laughs> and yeah, let's go into the game. Singing already? Omenta, why are you doing this to me? Already singing. <laughs> I thought I would have here now a comfy, comfy stream. And the Omenta is already looking at the songs again. <laughs> well, he hasn't redeemed it yet. He just looked, um, he just um, got the, the song list. Well, now he has redeemed it. <laughs> <sighs> okay, okay, Futski. I'm going to sing it for you. Eh, Futski. Okay, Omenta, I'm going to No space program. Stop it. Nah. But okay, okay, I will sing it for you. Um, and it was, I'm still standing, you redeemed. Okay, give me a minute. Um, still standing, karaoke. There we have it. Bing. And... Now see me stumbling at the exact same point where I always stumble with the lyrics and see me stumble again. <laughs> uh, is this the right window capture? Why don't you capture steering? Yes, give me all the f um, um, booty pets. There it is. Okay, well, hello, hello, Yoshi. Welcome into the stream. You're just in time for um, Omenta redeeming me to sing for you. So we will quickly sing I'm still standing as requested and then we will go into the game how far is the new model well the new model is still the same as it was before Kofu went to his wedding so it is still at the same stand as I showed it on stream because he was like, it's now 10 days away, I think, for um, the wedding of his sister. And he just started to stream this week again. And as I looked into, he, he, into um, his stream, he was working on another commission for a Komodo dragon. So yeah, it still, will, it still takes time a little bit. But okay, time to sing. Or else um, Omenta will be mad at me. <laughs>
sagen, es requested. Ah. <laughs> And the thing is, I can barely talk in the moment because it hurts. So I enjoy someone else talk. Oh, well, I hope wish you am um, um, to get well soon again. Ooh, dancing toothless. That doesn't look like toothless. <laughs> Because I'm still squirming. Well, I'm still squirming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little food ski. Vanished in the bud. <laughs> well, now time for some body horror game. Because that is this game. It is advertised as body horror. So if you are squeamish, this might be not for you. <laughs> Well, hello, hello, Twister Skunk. Well, this looks not that inviting. <laughs> uh, yes, welcome to Chaos. Well, that looks a little bit more than just chaos. Yes? Uh... Okay. This starts like this. Well... Welcome to Revenge of the Colon. And not the semicolon, but the butt colon. <laughs> Don't leave me. <laughs> Okay, let's see what this game is about. You are a gastroentero gastroenterologist. A specialized doctor with expertise in diagnosing and treating diseases of the digestive tract. This seems like something Market Player will play. Um, as far as I know, he did not play this, but I don't really um, watch many of his videos, but if he did, then I did not know of that. <laughs> or an illusionist, because for in order to exist, there must be chaos. This chaos can't... well, I'm somewhat of an expert myself, true. Well, Putski, this is basically Meerkat Simulator. <laughs> he does free scary game stuff. Ah, probably. He might do it in the future, I don't know. One of the most common procedures you perform is the colonoscopy. The insertion of a camera deep into the large intestine via the anus. You have been performing colonoscopies for decades and have treated thousands of patients. You are, ver you are well respected among your peers and a regular speaker at the important annual conferences. You have seen it all and treated it all. Nothing faces you. There is nothing you cannot handle. You are the Michael Jordan of gastroenterology. Okay. You do not know it yet, but this is your final week. Foreshadowing? Foreshadowing much. I still hate kinda this image of the bleeding butt. <laughs> A butt should not bleed. Monday. Lost treasure. Well, I'm sure many people have lost treasures up there. It has been nearly 70 years since I have been on holiday abroad. Yeah, it's definitely... This game is definitely not for people that are squeamish. I only know about this game. You are a, um, a gastroenterologist. And it is body horror. I don't know more about this game. This is the only two things I know about it. But body horror itself says, says that 
If you're squeamish, don't watch. <laughs> and I have been watching the news about border control, guards and their brutish behavior. We arrived in Calais. We were waiting in line and saw a horrid expression on the guard's face. It gave me such fright that I took off my wedding ring and swallowed it. I thought he might take it off me. Eventually we passed through the border without any travel, although he was quite rude. He didn't speak English at all. Well you were you were at Calais. Calais is French. Um Calais is um the entrance of the Euro Tunnel which um, connects France and England, if I'm correct, if, I, if I'm not confusing it. So yeah, of course it didn't speak English, it's a Frenchman. <laughs> it has been over a week since we have returned and my ring has not reappeared. Um, it's quite likely that the ring did leave your body and you simply did not see it. No, I'm quite sure it has not come out. My husband, Harold, has much better eyesight than I have, and he has done all of the searching. Harold? Harold Goop? <laughs> you certainly have a dedicated husband, Miss Hargreaves. I think we should get started. I'll give you a moment to get into position. And we shall begin. Wait, without any prep? You just... She comes just here and you do a colonoscopy? That needs at least 24 hours prep work to do a colonoscopy. Thank you, doctor. Blah. <laughs> why is it... Why is this the loading screen? Why? <laughs> Why? Oh. Leave it to Ranek to turn a horrid game into a very educational moment. Okay, this is up and down and forward and sideways. Okay. To torture you. Well, welcome to Meerkat Simulator. This is just a regular Meerkat workplace. <laughs> Let's find Futski. Look around, is the mice, yes. Well, for just going in and having the colonoscopy, it is extremely clean. Switch in I can switch instruments. A scanner. This instrument to scan and analyze anything found in your patient's colon. Grabber, a tool for pulling objects free that are stuck on, stuck or pierced into the colon. Cutter, a high-powered, high-precision surgical tool and cutting device. Cauterizer, no patient should be left with a bleeding colon. This instrument will quickly close wounds and stop further blood loss. Flusher. Flush objects, dead flesh, or anything else out of the column with a warm jet of water. Okay, that was it. Well, so far so good. I don't see anything bad yet. Hello, hello, low light yin. Welcome to Meerkat Simulator. Welcome in, how are you doing? I hope you all are doing wonderful today. What's that? There's something. Um, scanner. What am I looking at? Carefully remove the polyp. Um, that means I have to cut. And uh, where's the cauterize? There.
Äh. Das noch? Okay. Ist es dann? This, this is way bleeder than I thought. But yeah. Can I act can I do grabby stuff with it? Yes I can actually. Yeah. Not from your arms. <laughs> this sounds Um uh, it was Four is the cauterizer. Well, that's definitely a sound you have here. One hydrate. Granny, no, don't push. <laughs> well, Granny had too many beans in there. We are... Uh, we are playing Revenge of the Colon. This is apparently a body horror game. And in the beginning of the game, it said, this is my final week. And I don't know what they mean with this is my final week. So yeah, we are playing Revenge of the Colon. And... Yeah. What is this for a big thing? Colon pull. The best treatment is to cut it out and have it... Um, cut it out and have it analyzed. Okay. Don't steal my shirt. It's getting... it's getting cold with all the water there. <laughs> but yeah, um, this granny here apparently swallowed a... their, their wedding ring um, as they were at the border of Calais and we have to go find it now. But why do we have now cinema... um... 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 um the cinema... um... thing. Thank you, thank you for the follow, Twister Skunk Dragon, and welcome in to the beans. I will hope you will enjoy your stay here. Even if the stay seems to be very squishy. <laughs> but I have to say for... Mm, it's pretty nicely... Welcome, welcome, Dalenkin31, and thank you for following as well. Welcome into the stream. I hope you both will have a wonderful and lovely time here. I hope you are doing better than my client here. It is bleeding all over the place. Uh, looks like it's done. What's that? What's those big things? Not every ailment can be treated the same way. What was it? A hardened deposit of fat and calcium. This will become bigger over time, causing a blockage. It should be removed. Um, I honestly thought it, but I was looking at Ruzi's belly. Ruzi's belly timeout. <laughs> ok, 
Can this be removed? Guess not. Okay, you can just laser them away. Um, no, um, this here. And bye. Yep. <laughs> hello, adorable bean. Well, hello, rain, and welcome into the stream. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's th this candy? This is an unchewed, unchewed piece of candy. A hard boiled sweet, a favorite treat among old ladies across Great Britain. Yeah. Can I flush it out just? No. I have to probably also. Okay, can't do that. Can I grab it? Yeah, I can just grab it. True. And don't dare to eat it again, Granny. This is a no-no one. Don't eat it again. <laughs> I get to watch you and play Apex. I'm having a great day. Aww. Well, I hope your day will stay awesome. And I hope you will win it, Apex. Ooh, it's corn. It's the full tour um, vegetable. I wish I had infinite points. Well, there are ways to get quicker and more points. <laughs> Another hard boiled candy. Well, we could open um, a salad bar and a candy bar with how much they ate. <laughs> Deep mirror tunnels, yeah. I'm getting all deep inside. Okay, get this unstuck. But so far we have not found um, the ring because we are looking for a wedding ring, but have not found anything like this before. Um, um, haven't found it yet. Yes. Wasn't this one of those breakup things? I ah, colon polyp, cut it out. Okay, yeah, it was um, one of those. Could you imagine getting Rudy or Sky to play this? <laughs> I don't think Rudy and Sky would have uh, would have a good time playing this. <laughs> eh, there. This would be more a game that Markiplier or Whiskey Dingo would play. Or Jacksepticeye, I think Jacksepticeye also makes this um, horror um, game thingies. Those three, I could imagine that those three would play it. But none of those played it. So... I thought... I stumbled over it and said, huh. I guess nobody ever has played this game. Let's just try it out. <laughs> okay, man, how deep do we have to go into Granny? Would Cooper play this? I have no idea. You could ask him. You could um, gift him it, the, the, the game on Steam to him. I guess it's another polyp, so I guess I have to cut it out again. Flutch. Uh, or... Mark would play this weird game. You beat me. Saying six the guy. <laughs> well, I do know um, their channel a little bit, and I do know that they have some silly games in that. But yeah, um, Whiskey Dingo probably would also play this game, because he also makes. Um, he loves to play trashy horror games. I, I could imagine that he would play it. Um, four. Four, four, four. Um, 
And these are fatty thingies. The fatty thingies need the laser. This is so... <laughs> but where is this ring? How deep inside is that ring? Do I actually need to cauterize this here? No, doesn't look like. Well, I have not scanned the man the corn yet. A piece sweet of corn. You have found this in thousands of patients over the years. But you should technically you should not find this in thousands of patients over the years because patients should prep for their colonoscopy. The ring was a ruse. You've done so much free work already. <laughs> I mean when I'm in here already. So why not do it if I'm in here already? It is a meerkat's job after all. What is that? There's so much stuff there. And well, if you are in Europe, then the um, then the, the the medical procedures would be free. Um, um, would be your free um, anyways, because we have healthcare. So I wouldn't see why this would be bad at all, because, you know, healthcare exists. Impressive, anything could come out of all this blockage. Yeah, true that, true that. There is so much junk here everywhere. But it just shows how res resilient um, the human gut is. <laughs> is that dangerous? Wait, it has. She has swallowed her dentures. <laughs> okay. Cries an American. Oh, poor little Futski. I thought the word to say I'm Europe during Russia or when they're trying to park or something. <laughs> A piece of broken dentures. The patient might want this back. Depends on the patient if they want this piece back or not. <laughs> Meh. Oh, there's another one of the up there still. Do everything go out? How deep are you, Futski? Futski is extremely deep in there. He did not joke around. He he went all the way. <laughs> Futski is just gone. I have more of polyps. I got jump scared by ads. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the ads do come automatically. I have no influence about them. <laughs> but yeah, I can imagine you're looking tense uh, on the screen. You're wondering what do we find behind the next band, and suddenly, buy this. <laughs> I think we have found the ring finally. Yeah, there is the the yeah. There we have found the ring. We have finally reached it.
An ancient piece of chewing gum permanently stuck to the colon. Chewing gum actually does not spin there. Mrs. Hargreaves lost treasure. And it's f a full one minute movie ad and it's one of two. I'm gonna still Google and Twitch. Ah, sorry to hear. Sorry to hear that with that. They do help out though. They do help a little meerkat a little bit. Come on, get away. Get away. Only the ring? No. Uh, do I have to cut it? No, cutting doesn't work. Laser? How do we get this away? Um... Come on. Give it to me. Give me the ring. How the fuck do you get that ring? The horror as it never be done, trapped in the tunnels. I did scan them bo both already. Can try it again. Yeah, the horror is you are lost in grainy guts forever. An ancient piece of chewing gum permanently stuck to the colon. And this just says it's it's the ring. The one ring to rule them all. It's their lost treasure. Um, you have to cut the ring. Doesn't do anything either. Nothing works. Come on. How do you remove this? I did try the laser cutter. Maybe flush it? I did try the laser cutter already, but it doesn't seem to budge. I yanked it as well, but it does it just doesn't budge. Yes, this is the laser thingy. It just doesn't want to go. Ah! Now it is gone. And what do I have to do? Have to go out now? Or how do I finish the level? Boop, 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 boop. Okay, I just have to flush it until it is out of view. Wait, how did it get free? I just pulled. Um, I have no idea how, but um, this time I grabbed it at the top at the jewel and just pulled it. And I did it before too. Just not on the crystal itself, but on the ring. 
and it did not work when I pulled it at the ring, so a little bit fidgety. Today was a good day. After you rinsed off Mrs. Hargreaves' ring, you watched with delight as she slid it back onto her finger. You will be telling colleagues and friends and relatives about Mrs. Hargreaves for years to come. Good anecdotes are hard to come by. You went to bed chuckling to yourself until you fell asleep feeling happy. You were so far in, Futsuki, I have not found you. And maybe you are in a different column. Maybe I will find you there. <laughs> this was the last normal day. Ooh, I think we are getting into the horror part now. Because it says this is the last normal day. And hello there, Fox Macro. Welcome into the stream. I hope you are having a lovely, lovely day. But yeah, I guess we are slowly coming into the horror part of this game. Tuesday. <gasps> Pika. Meow. It's uncommon for someone as young as you to require a colonoscopy. But when I saw your x-ray, I was quite shocked. I could not distinguish what was happening inside your large intestine. For over a year, I suffered from a condition known as Pika. It is a weird game, yes. <laughs> you basically are a gastroenterologist and you are freeing people of whatever they have in their... Up in their... <laughs> up in their booms. I craved and ate things that are not food. Oh, it's one of those people. Yeah, I craved and ate things that aren't. Does, does it actually, um, is it actually called Pika? People that um, eat um, non-food items? I didn't know that. It started off harmlessly. I would eat the eraser at the end of my pencils. I would eat small bits of paper or small bits of plastic from food packaging. I would eat the feet of a meerkat. <laughs> Phew. What did you eat, miss? And thank you for the cookie. This is a food item. You are allowed to eat this. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Um, yeah, Wako had Pika. He did? Okay. And thank you for the watermelon. Thank you, um, Fox Macra. Nom, nom, nom. I cannot remember everything I ate. Thank you again. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. But I do know I ate a lot of different things. Recently, I began to crave metallic items and I began eating small coins. And on stretch. Ah. Pika. What was this? Pika. Pika? Paper. You swallowed paper clips, small screws, and steel nails. You swallowed nails? What the fuck? Don't. Yeah. Yes, we all should be in tummy timeout. You are completely right, low light lean. <laughs> Lul, blah. Low light yin. I was hospitalized after I collapsed at work. Of course you would collapse after eating nails. God damn. Surgeon removed 30 objects from my stomach. What the? What? But there are still objects in my lower bowels which are difficult to remove. Then doctors referred me to you. It sounds like you have a very difficult time. Are you still having these cravings? When I was in the hospital, I was diagnosed with malnutrition. Malnutrition. I have been having money troubles for a while and I have not been eating as well as I should be. Doctors put me on a special diet and gave me a lot of high dose dietary supplements. 
Well, the save the file is mostly when I'm, I'm doing art, to save the current art piece, that, and I often forget that. I have not had any cravings since the treatment started. Yes, the paw cam is new. <laughs> Look at my paws, my paws are, are amazing. I'm just throwing points at you. <gasps> well, you can do just like Fox Macro does. Show me, I uh, can you do the booty show, you can do the paw show. <laughs> that is fantastic. I wish you continued recovery. Thank you. We will do things slowly and methodically. And carefully remove all the remaining objects from your bowels. So you can get back to living a normal life of a Pika. <laughs> a Pikachu. Would it be funny if we would find a Pikachu in the Pika Eater? <laughs> Only at 10 points. Oh, well, points, are, well, points will come more and more. Mm, yes, belly. Wonderful. Okay, let's find, let, let's, let's look at what weird stuff we will find in her. I really miss one Tor streamer, never sometime. I really miss one tour streamer. Wow. This looks bloody. This does look bloody indeed. Yes, give me head pets. Nah. But yeah, compared with Granny, this looks way, way worse here and we are just stumbling over open wounds already because it's inflamed probably I mean I would not be a happy colon either if um, I would have to deal with nails and stuff as we were talking about it there's literally literally a nail sticking out of the wall What? Why would people do this? A thumbtack. Pull it out carefully and treat the bleeding. Why would people do this? Ugh. Come on, get out. Get out. Ugh. Get it out, out of my house. <laughs> what the fuck is all there around? Oh, 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 indeed, yes, you're saying it, Crystal. <laughs> you kid simulator? Shush. <laughs> <laughs> the joke I already made myself. <laughs> What are those for things up there? What are those? Are those paper shreds or what is what is that? Looks like a metal, like the metal shavings. Yeah, a thin shaving of metal. Remove it carefully and stop any bleeding that occurs. And I slid my sidebar in there. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> I like it. Do you also like the sl slider sidebar in there? Those metal shavings look like they screwed themselves in. 
Yep, indeed. Uh, no, five. Well, this lady uh, is probably very, very bored and eats all kinds of stuff. This always reminds me of that one person that ate an entire plane, if, if you remember that person. They didn't eat it in one piece, but they ate part and part and part of a plane. Until the entire plane was it eaten. And I just think, what the fuck is wrong with some people? You never heard about that Yoshi? You never heard about the story about that person that ate an entire plane? But yeah, eating this definitely, definitely needs um, medical, no, not, not medical, psychological help. Why would I know about it? Don't know, because it's, um, it's an interesting story. <laughs> <laughs> no, Yoshi is not new. Ooh, a safety needle. Ooh, that looks painful. Ah. Uh... Stop sitting in my shirt. I need my shirt paintball. Uh, and the funny thing is, I just let it slide out with the needle still open. That surely won't go bad. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I feel my skin crawl every time I pull these out. And it's just it's the sound and that everything and... Uh. You don't need a shirt in here. Well, true. That is true. I don't need a shirt in here. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh, we're getting into the next part. I guess we are coming now uh, into the, the next section of the colon. Like, is it? Um, rectum sigmoid um, ascending, traversing, and dis no, descending, traversing, ascending. Um, cutscene is a nightmare. <laughs> I, I have this, just hearing the sounds here and yanking it out and uh, imagining the feeling and stuff and uh, It just lets my skin crawl. But yeah, the cutting is also pretty oof. But well, I did warn at the beginning of the stream, it is a body horror game. So... I mentally literally don't have the ability to imagine it. Well, I have a pretty good imagination and... Oh, those are the the, the nails, the iron nails that she mentioned. What the fuck? This looks like some Resident Evil shit. Fair warning, do not uh, fair warning, all do not eat while watching. Well, I personally don't have, l have much issue with that. I could eat while watching this. I don't really have an, um, have an issue with not being able to eat because of such things. 
I just, if I imagine it, what that must feel like. My skin starts to... My skin starts to, um... To, to crawl, or I get, getting goosebumps? But I could totally eat while watching this. Um, daily reminder, always eat your nails and tacks for your daily iron intake. Very important. O always eat them for your da daily iron intake. <laughs> don't actually eat them, I don't want to be sued. A steel nail, carefully remove them and then treat the wound. But yeah, I would imagine if somebody has so many nails sticking through their colon walls that you would need more than just a colonoscopy for this. I would strongly say this needs more than just a colonoscopy. This needs surgical um, intervention, like surgically open them and... Um, I ate a bowl of nails without any milk. Good boy. <laughs> didn't know the colon... Um, didn't you know the colon isn't exactly necessary. Well, technically... Uh, why don't you stop? Okay. Technically, a lot of organs are not needed because we could... survive without them all. Because you don't necessarily need kidneys because you have a dialysis machine. Um, I have seen or heard of people um, living without a stomach because they had their stomach removed and they continued to live. They just connected the two, um, the, the colon and the um, esophagus together and they survived and could live on. My, um, my uncle, I don't know how the correct word is, like how the correct wording is in English. Um, he, he lost um, one of his lungs, he only had one lung left and could live on. So, is that a battery? A fucking... Okay. If somebody would eat a battery, they would have a bad, bad time because the stomach acid would literally melt that and you would have like acid burns all over you. This is actually, this would actually be so bad. A battery. This needs to be flushed out to prevent poisoning. Exactly. Because of all the battery acid. I'm, I am surprised that this battery made it all the way into the large colon this intact. Because technically the stomach acid would... Yes, how would she even be alive? Exactly my thing. She wouldn't be dead. Or she would at least have major chemical burns because... That's just... That's just wild. It seems to become a little bit less?
the question is if we have on the second day we have already a customer like in this what is happening at the other days because we still have like a week left hello is anybody there 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 <laughs> Dum 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 dum. Unless they have a stomach acid issue. Well, the stomach acid is pretty strong. The stomach acid is um, salzsäure. And salzsäure, I don't know the English word for it, is pretty, is, is a very strong asset. <laughs> Jump scare. <laughs> you just look um, into the dark and you see a bracken from Lethal, uh, from um, Lethal Company. Just the, the eyes of the bracken there in the, in the dark. But well, I mean, with how many things we flushed out already, she must have eaten an entire hardware store right now. Man, this girl ate an entire ha hardware store. <laughs> Random foxy noise jump scare. <laughs> GA Lowe's. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just silly. I'm gonna clean it out. This became now like power wash simulator. Lowe's is like a card hardware store in the US. Yeah, I'm, I would have imagined. From the distance, this looked like a Dalek. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just in my element. Pretty much. From the distance, this looked like a Dalek. Did, did, am I the only one that saw a Dalek in this? <laughs> Exterminate. What the fuck is that? A piece of barbed wire. What? Why the fuck would you eat barbed wire? And back there is a a, 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 a razor um, knife. What the fuck is wrong with this lady? I mean, I've seen many things in my time as a meerkat. But what the fuck is that? This person needs help how is this person still alive how Yes, straight up razor blades. God damn it. How does this p how does this person still be alive? This is just Yikes. Oh, I have forgotten something there. K 
can leave that open. Else I would else I get a bad Yelp re review. How do why do people get so many ads suddenly? And sharpness is measured by how thick the atoms of a razor's edge are. Common kitchen knives be 50 to 75, but razor blades are only 15 atoms thick. Okay, that is that is not very thick. That is ex 15 atoms only. That is... that's smart. That's smart. That's small. So it is like 15 footskis, you are saying. Yoink. Bye. Why this why this face Futsuki? Did I say something that is correct? Hmm. Well, can can send me into tummy timeout if I am in um, colon timeout. Okay, this colon here just reminds me of um, the blood shower of Blade. Anybody remembers the Blade movie still? The old one? Blood shower! And just blood everywhere coming down from above. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just had to think of the Blade movie. Only old people like me will understand. <laughs> How old is that movie, by the way? Or better not tell. I don't know. I don't know. Want. I don't want to know how old I am already. <laughs> Blah. And away with you all. I remember it. right before I fought Ron Perlman and personally I find the second movie is more funny though. I don't think I ever have seen Blade 2. I only remember I'm watching um, Blade 1. But weren't there like a third movie part of Blade 2? Weren't there like at least three movies of it? Mmm, yes, give me all the burgers. Burgers are burgers are definitely tastier than tax and barbed wire and batteries and is that a shotgun shell? Is that a shot? God damn this person's Why would somebody eat a shotgun? <laughs> I tried to to hit the tap to let it go out. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. 
I had to try it. I had to try it. <laughs> oh my god. Who would have thought that this works? Who would have thought that this works? Nobody clipped this. This will be our secret. This will be our secret here. <laughs> you realize your mistake instantly. You attempted admirably to stop the bleeding, but the damage was too extensive. An investigation into her death was opened, and you plan to cooperate fully. Every time you think about what happened, you vomit. Did we reach the bad end? Um, catastrophic lack of judgment leading to a bad. Um, it was it was an achievement. Fifteen percent of players only got this. <laughs> Deranged streamer. <laughs> yes, yes, I am. <laughs> oh, oh God, oh God. <laughs> I didn't know that they would build that in. That was pure coincidence. I, I just wanted to see... Did they build this into the game? Did this build into the game? Poof. Okay. I guess you have multiple endings in this game. <laughs> I've been a fisherman for almost... 17 years. Every day I go out to sea. And return with that nature with what nature gives me. Everything I eat comes from the sea. It's a cold, lonely, and often dangerous life that requires a lot of strength. Recently, I feel like my strength is slowly sucked away. My question just is How is this gastro gastroenterologist? still allowed to work. I mean, I just killed a person and woof, next day, no problem, I can continue to work. What if? <laughs> Meow. I become tired. I pull uh, before I pull in the first catch. I feel hungry all the time, even after eating a big meal. That sounds like parasites. I think we will find parasites this, this run. I am losing a lot of weight, which scares me the most. I have always been overweight. Yeah, well, technically not the gun, but the uh, ammunition go boom. I mean, it's only semi your fault, it's not your fault she ate the shotgun shell. True. But it would, it's, it's my fault, because as a professional doctor, I should have not done this. Also a lot of little fuskies. Well, probably. <laughs> I've always um, been overweight. But in the last few days, my weight has gone down by over a third. I am worried I will waste the weight on nothing. You said that everything you eat comes from the sea. Yes. Are you eating fish straight from the sea without cooking it? Yes. Parasites. Uh, I'm saying it, parasites. And thank you for the hydrate. That's definitely parasites. It's so fresh that there is no need to cook it. Even if it is fresh, you never should eat raw meat. And if you want to eat raw meat, you have to specially prepare it. 
parasites are just runics inside. I have a colony of very gentle micros. Thank you, those are not parasites. <laughs> Well, various spe species of parasites live in the flesh of fish and other sea organisms. I'd be doing my best to be a laxative. <gasps> it is possible that you have ingested some of these parasites and they are the cause of your problems. Don't test me. Oh, I will test it. <laughs> Living inside Ranik, not paying bills. That's a paradise. See? It's a parasite. I think you wanted to mean paradise, you know? <laughs> because it would be definitely a parasite for a little, for a little food ski. But I have eaten like this for many years and have never had a problem. Um, people with parasites not always show symptoms until the parasites are large in number or in size. It make every other fart at random and should have trusted if I was inside. I make every other fart at random one he shouldn't have trusted if I was inside. Well, I can deal with a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> I can take a while for them to grow and reproduce. I suppose you may be right. I get, I do get weird feelings in my gut sometimes. I feel the things twitching and moving about. That's just Fuski. Moving about? Yes, the feeling I get in my gut reminds me of what I see every day. A writhing pile of fish. Okay, this could be quite the adventure. Oh, I am sure it is nothing like that at all. But there is only one way to find out. Make yourself comfortable and we shall begin. Ooh. This sounds like... This sounds like a mission. Don't make the colon more dirtier with your confetti. Okay, we have we see something already. What's that? I never seen this thing. Was it? Is it an egg? Appears to be a piece of excrement, but not from a human. Aha! Uh -huh. How big are the parasites that... <laughs> 50 foot tapeworm boss. Cue the Dark Souls and um, music. No, not spam confetti. We need to make the colon clean and healthy. Tapeworms have no size limits. Oh yeah, I do know. I have seen once... Um, um, I think it was a video inside of a news article that someone pulled out like a 7 or 8 meters long tapeworm. And it was... It was just so huge. I mean, wow. That really was inside all of them. I mean, I don't need this much place, they should just take me. Um, I mean, what? Trying to not throw up. Aww. Well, I hope it's not too bad for you. But I did warn. There we have some more parasite poop. Flush away. Nom, 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 nom. 
And then we collect all of the meat that we cut out and make burgers out of it. How's it gonna be? Tapeworm burgers today? After work? <laughs> what are those? Are those ticks? Are those ticks? I know, I I know I like war, etc. But the idea of such a large foreign body that's literally feeding off your nutrients, draining your body, looks like some kind of un unidentified aquatic blood-sucking tick. Kill it and flush it out. Ooh. Yeah, and that's why I prefer wholesome um endovore. <laughs> Blah. <laughs> <laughs> Where um, you and the prey have just um, um, symbiotic, a symbiotic relationship. That is the best. Blah. <laughs> ew, 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 indeed. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Blood blow the ticks, yes. The leg, it still moves. Look at the leg. Uh. <laughs> it's still twitching. <laughs> Get away. Ugh. There's so many ticks in there. Look at this. There's so many. Jesus Christ, look at that! What the fuck? It won't even wash them away properly. Not this Dirk actually needs to get up and out of bed for the day. Oh, But the bed is so comfy. Don't leave bed, son. And well, Futski, that's... That is the target or the, the target of the game. The game does want to make you feel uncomfortable and... To make you want to hate it. It's not a wholesome game after all. It's a horror game. And I can see why it is horror. Because this is just... Just imagine... I mean, this person must be so lightheaded all of the time. Because of all the blood amnesia. Like, you have to have such high blood loss with all of this. And wouldn't you... And if they are ticks, wouldn't they like, um, go out and detach after they have sucked them full and um, full? Because... Who stole my shirt? <gasps> Dalekin? Just stealing my shirt. Because normally they would just um, suck full and then detach and say Bye, I had my fill. 
You have just imagine if they all detach at the same time and you just poop out a row of ticks. You just look back into your toilet and there are just ticks everywhere. Oh, that must be... Yeah, ticks don't care if they keep sucking. Yeah, exactly. I did hear the of 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 um a, a deer baby having so many ticks on their body that they literally died because of um blood loss. And if you have a weak stomach, don't google the image for the deer that died of blood loss through ticks. Don't google it. No, no, it, it, it is not worth it. I have seen that image and it is just brutal. It is just, it is just innocently goes to google it. No, don't google it. Don't, don't. That is just, holy fuck. I mean, I, I mean, in the end, I can stop you if you want to, but if you want to have a happy and a good day, don't. <laughs> if you want to sleep at night, don't. <laughs> Speaking of deer ticks, um, they are already scary. You can get a um, Lyme disease, which is permanent and makes you allergic to all meat. Um, I heard of that, yeah. Um, I luckily only have a meat in tall. I luckily only have a meat intolerance. So... I can eat sometimes meat, but not often. And hello, cam snack. This is parasites. We are cleaning parasites out of a fisherman that thought it is a good idea to eat the catched fish live and raw at the boat. A parasite sucking a parasitic blood sucking worm. It is the best to remove it before it can breed. Okay. Do we remove it like this? Or can we... It's still wiggling. Can we kill it? Nope, you can't kill it. You have to remove them like this. And yeah, this is Revenge of the Colon. It is a body horror game. So... Yes, we are um, inside him. It is a colonoscope. Um, I am basically... I am basically um, a colonoscopy doctor. No. And um, this is a customer of mine and I have to treat him. Stop it! Stop it! And yeah. Basically, it's a micro treating service, yeah. You are a little micro. And helping big prats to keep their guts clean. <laughs> you are the micro cleaner. But look at so many of those. I mean, he ate raw fish over years, so... I guess, yeah, they had pretty, pretty often, pretty much time to... multiply. Come on, get out. Get out. Let's go!
I said let go. Finally. Ooh, this was a uh, uh, one of those. Look at all of those squirming parasites. And now I will give you a very very bad image. Now think of the person having to poop after this um, after this uh, medical um, treatment and seeing like dozens and dozens of those squirming fuckers just slide out of you. Ah. Oh. Just imagine that. God damn it. That would be that would feel so weird. What's that? A sharp piece of fish bone. It is best to remove it before it can do some serious damage. Of course he has um, fish gills. Not, not called gills. Um, Gräten. In German you say um, Fischgräte. I don't know how it is in English. You'd love to be screaming in one though. Well, shush. That's something different, Camp Snack. This guy would be like, huh, funny. Anyway, time for some fish and chips. <laughs> I'm thinking that this person, after the treatment, just would go back onto his boat and do the exact same shit again. What's that? What is that? What the fuck am I seeing? What am I seeing? This looks like a potato with legs. Probably a thing that the non-human poops. An egg sack. It looks to be full of larvae. Remove this to run further in. It's an egg sack. It looks like a potato with legs. Like a squirmy potato. Can't remove it like this, okay? I think it makes non humans poop. It doesn't even look like a pot Doesn't even look close like it does totally look like a potato. <laughs> this is totally like a like a worm potato. One question, how do I just know what things are? Well, maybe you have more um, training with this than you think. Blah. <laughs> okay, let's just splatter it open. Yes, Yoshi. Is something the matter? Oh yeah, this here definitely is not... This looks like a battlefield and Jesus Christ, this here just looks like a battlefield. Did I forget one?
No, um, it just looked like it, okay. Dancing on rainbows. Pink fluffy parasites wiggling in columns. Big fluffy parasites wiggling in columns. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Yoshi. Is something? <laughs> you don't like pink fluffy parasites? You did not need to make any lyrics, but I wanted to. <laughs> Don't be mad with me. You put those into my head. <laughs> um, yes. And flush. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, Futski. Just because I'm cleaning your home, which you should be keeping clean. It's totally your fault that this, uh, that this became like this. I struggle. I'm having to continue the stream. The struggle I have you're struggling to continue the stream? Is it so bad for you? <laughs> I don't think it's that bad, to be honest. No. Yes, give me all the pets. Of course, there are some parts which are just... Yikes, but... Uh. Yeah, you don't have too much of an issue to watch it. It's probably because I have seen much worse stuff in my army times. Because if... If not everybody knows yet, I was many years in the army and I have seen some shit. Maybe that's why it doesn't... It just gives me like goosebumps. I mean, yeah, it, it, this here gives, this definitely gives me goosebumps and it's just yucky yuck. But I don't see any big issues with it. I mean, uh, it's just, it's just is how it is, I guess. <laughs> as long as you don't try to kill another patient. I do wonder, do those parasites, are they a good protein um, source? <laughs> I believe you, my dad was a wet. Plus, the stuff I ended um, up doing through helping people online, I feel like that healing mage in a four player party. Yeah, I can, I can imagine what your um, what your dad has um, experienced. Because some of that stuff is definitely not nice. But yeah, I... If I'm really honestly... I'm... I don't have problems to do this. Yes, it is yucky. Yes, it looks nasty but uh, yeah I was trained um, for um, basic combat medic stuff 
because every soldier in our army got um, erweiterte Selbst- und Kameradenhilfe, as it was called. Because as a recruit, you only get self and comrade help. But I was a professional soldier for many years. We got the large package of self and comrade help. So it is like the big um, basic combat, the big basics of combat medic. And we had some very, very good teaching material. Because we had at our bigger um, exercises, we had people playing wounded people. And they also had um, like a um, mask builder, like those, um, 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 like a mask, um, people that do um, schminke. I don't know how it is called in makeup yet. And makeup people that did like open wounds that made sticking out bones and like um, fake legs where you have um, artificial blood in the fake leg that is just pouring out etc. It is people they did a good job in making those wounds look very realistic. And if you are in a situation where you are just tired because you were already like 24 hours awake and you have adrenaline and stress inside of your body, you don't realize that these wounds are just training. You see those wounds and it is just like, oh fuck, there's somebody wounded and you just switch immediately into into your in the, the into the mode I don't know how to explain it properly but yeah if you are awake for 24 hours 30 hours and stuff so you're stressed you're tired and then you get into thrown into um, into a medic um, training into a medic simulation it is just I have to say I didn't always had it this easy to have this but um, I remember the first time having um, this real target this is realistic um, medical training and combat wounds training the very first time I had it I blacked out I went there I have seen like um, the leg in two pieces having seen the blood squirting out the open bones etc and I, I, I just fainted. The first time I had this training, I, I just straight up fainted. <laughs> I just fell, boom, fell on the floor. <laughs> I do know Passy, it's uh, this, this red dragon. I do know them, yeah. But yeah, the face, first time I had this, I just, I just straight up fainted. But nowadays, it's just, it's not that bad anymore. It's just, I mean, uh just part of the job, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, not many people know this story of my first encounter with um, open wounds and stuffs. What is that? Those are... Uh... Hello? An aquatic blood-sucking louse. This cannot be left in the column. Ah, uh, Do they attack me? <laughs> okay. Headshot. Headshot. Triple kill. Multi kill. <laughs> I 
Uh, I'm gonna have to DM you later. About something that has happened. Okay. Now you made me curious. Trilobites? I wonder if you just speedrun the balls to get to the end. Well, apparently this game has multiple endings because I already killed a patient and I still can continue so there's probably there's pretty sure multiple endings. Um, this here. Um, very basically, oh, let me hit the firing pin. Yes. <laughs> I was curious. I was curious what will happen if, if I was... Don't blame me for that, but I was curious if they did um, include this in the game, if there is some stupid idiot like me. <laughs> what would happen if I would just point, point a laser to the firing tip of a shell? And yes, the game developer thought of this. <laughs> game developer thought of what if there are stupid idiots like me that just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun though. Let's give him a little shower and wash him. You little guy. Oh, you little, little guy. Die. <laughs> I was curious if a shotgun shell could kill someone from the inside. Yes, and they can. Who thought of that? A shotgun going off inside of the colon of a person kills the person. Who would have thought of that? Uh, a metal fishing hook, a terrifying and dangerous object. Remove it and treat the bleeding. Think of a great vablam. <laughs> what? Why does it say a vablam? Why? Why does it scream like a baby? A fish. It does not look like it has been digested at all. Uh. Bye. Stop screaming. Uh, bye, baby fish. Yes, he probably also swallowed somebody's um, child. Somebody's um, child. Sea baby. Did the fish, um, the live fish, just flopping its way out of the anus? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, the, the the fisherman said that it felt like there is something squirming and wiggling inside of him. So, I guess it was those fishes. There's so many of it. Why is there so many of it? And why are they all screaming like babies? Why? Just stop it. The, the live fish is flopping its way, yeah. Guys giving birth to a 
ton of tuna. Oh yeah. I mean, just imagine, we don't pull them out. We just let them flow out by the water. That means those are all just falling out of his butt. Just think of that. Yes. Come on. This child and screaming is just more annoying than anything. At first it was what the fuck, but now it is just annoying. Stop screaming, please. It would have been much better if the game developer just would have done the screaming children sound at the very first oh, one. Well? Oh, no. Oh, uh. It would have been much better if they just would have done this at the very, very first fish and then all of the other fishes are just silent. Only the first one has to scream, the others are just silent. That would have been much more creepy. I cannot see Whiskey playing and enjoying this game. Definitely. <laughs> enjoying? Definitely not. But I don't know if he would try it or not. <laughs> he might try it and then stop the game in the middle. Like, he might do it like for one of his um, one hour um, sessions in the stream. Like he does um, those in his 12 hour streams that he just um, he switches game every hour. I could imagine that it would do it like an hour. Why isn't there um, gut gurgling audio for the points? Well, because I haven't thought of it and people did not um, want to have it. <laughs> the paw cam is now the first stream with the paw cam because... Clam. <laughs> because um, a person... Ooh, treasure. Because a person said, oh, I want to see the paws. And then I said, okay, I can make a paw redeem. And since then, I have the paw redeem. I can take it. Oh, that was it. Okay. That was the end of the mission. <laughs> Blah. Okay. Let's see what, what the game has now in store for us. Um, but before that, I will quickly go to the toilet and poop out some parasites. No, but I have to go to pee. <laughs> um, see you in a minute. Grab some food, grab some nums, some chips, whatever you want, need, and I'll be back in a minute. And I am back. 
Good. You have never seen a parasite infestation as bad as this. The biological waste bag that contains the extracted parasites undulates as it sits on your desk. Yikes! <laughs> okay, just imagine this, a moving biohazard sack that just moves and twitches and you have to have it on your desk. What the fuck? The fisherman was shocked to see what came out of him. Perhaps he will cook his food from now on. Oh, I'm... I'm so sure that he was... I was dead. This person definitely has to be shocked. Anything else is just crazy. He left your office, looking a bit shocked and weak. But you knew in a few hours he should feel much better. You sent numerous specimens to a lab for analysis. analysis. Perhaps you have discovered a new species. At home, that evening, you sit with a Latin dictionary and look for interesting words to use for new parasite names. Your wife cooks you spaghetti, but you cannot eat it without retching. Instead, you sit on the sofa and eat ice cream from the tub. Um, relatable. I can I can understand why the doctor is like this because the spaghetti might not be the best food after such an encounter. You hope tomorrow will be a boring day. PTSD. <laughs> well, not necessarily PTSD, but you definitely still have the rem the, the the memories fresh in your head. But it won't be. I mean, I am in the lucky position that I can just turn off, off such thoughts. I have... Uh, um, I don't know how to describe it, but I can easily switch off such, such thoughts. Also, when I have to go to bed and have to sleep, I can, like, somehow put a switch in my head and just say, let's deal with that another time. Now is sleepy times. <laughs> Shut off your emotions, kind of, yeah? But it's not, re not necessarily shutting off. It's just say, brain, now is sleep time. Don't think about these crazy things. We can think about this tomorrow, but now is sleepy time. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah, it's more like control because I don't I don't shut them off and I don't bury them. I just say not now, brain. Please, don't do it now. I want to sleep. And it usually it doesn't work every time, but it usually works. First day, meet. You can probably tell by my appearance that I I, I enjoy eating food. I don't know why I had that ability since birth. You can do that too? It's it's so useful to be able to do that, isn't it? Um, Twister. My job is to write about food and restaurants. Though I would not classify I'm class myself as a critic because I am rarely disappointed by food. Does this belt buckle kind of look like the Batman symbol? Or is it just me that it looks like a Batman symbol? I was the Knight of the Dark. <laughs> My favorite type of food is barbecue. It's called being able to disassociate with them. I too can do this with things. Oh, nice. I thought that I would be more of a... Of a rare person to be able to do this from hearing how many people have problems with falling asleep and stuff but it's now already two more people just now is eating a building 
he's eating um, righteousness. I have written more words about barbecue than on any other subject. <laughs> okay, let's do a fun game. What do you think is his issue? I mean, he loves to eat barbecue. Could he maybe have those barbecue sticks inside of him? Did he just maybe eat the entire barbecue stick and om nom nom? <laughs> Is he eating cold? I have no idea. But yeah, fun game. Who can guess it does this person have? Ah! Why do I feel he's gonna be constipated and bloated like a bomb? He he could have constipation, yes. That actually could is it actually a good guess. You look like you are in severe pain. Yes, the pain in my bowels is terrible. It is as if my bowels are getting excited at the prospect of more food and demanding that I eat. That is not exactly how it works. But I can feel it. I can hear it. I hear something in my mind demanding more food. It grips me from within and knows that I am in pain. The pain stops when I give it food. It controls me. I, I cannot say that I have ever encountered any symptoms like these in the medical literature. But I can see you are suffering and I want it to stop. I think we should get started immediately. Thank you. Okay, this uh, this is cre this is a creepy guy. <laughs> this guy gives so off very 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 creepy vibes. <laughs> okay, let's see what the what are we finding in here? What is controlling him? What is demanding more food? He's not going to let you out. Probably. <laughs> but it's a risk I have to take. Because I am Meerkat, cleanser of colons. It is my duty. Why does he have an eye in there? And why is the eye moving? Why, why, why is there an eye inside? Oh, what am I seeing here? A human eyeball that appears to be rooted inside the colon. Remove it so it can be analyzed. This. His guts got tossed in a reactor. Got it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this the sound. It is the sound that is just the. the uh. <laughs> bah. <laughs> Well, this is how LASIK is done wrong. Oops. <laughs> this is not how to do LASIK surgery. You can't see. I called it. <laughs> you can see. Let's do LASIK bowel surgery. 
Why are there teeth inside? A human tooth growing from within the wall of the column. I am a gastroenterologist. I'm not a dentist. What the fuck am I? Sh what I, what should I do in here? <laughs> He's a mutant. Well, probably. But I'm not a dentist. I can't pull the teeth. What should I do here? This is not my field of, of, of expertise. <laughs> now imagine him coming to me and saying, Oh, my teeth hurt. Okay. Open your maw to see. What is the issue with your hurting teeth? And then you say, no, it is my, my bowel teeth. My bowel teeth hurt. And then you, what the fuck? What? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have bowel teeth? Strange. <laughs> Question. If he puts those teeth below his pillow, does the tooth fairy come and pick them up? Is the tooth fairy interested in um, bowel teeth? Yes, that is an eye. <laughs> Don't ask me why there are eyes and teeth inside of his colon. Because I do not know. He was just a person that sounded like he would be possessed. But I did not know that it is this. Another question is, can he see me? Can he see my me through this eye? That would be interesting to know. I thought it would be empty and then game over. <laughs> question is I, I really I'm, I'm really curious if he could if he can see me through his eyes or not because that would be fucked up <laughs> hello there Shin welcome in well this game is about me being a gastroenterologist so, um, 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 a Darmspiegel doctor, quasi. A colonoscopy doctor, yes. And we are... We had some rather normal beginnings. Like with a grandma um, swallowing her ring, not getting the ring back out. To now this boring first a afternoon which we have like beings of the ethereal realm I don't know <laughs> I I don't I I don't know what this is maybe he's neighbor with Cthulhu or so I don't know Maybe it's just um, one of those love, Lovecraftian beings. <laughs> but at least you have missed the previous mission, Shen. The previous mission was with parasites and those parasites were just yucky. 
Um, there. This here is less yucky than the previous one. If I would have... Ooh. Smells like your eldritch horror. But yeah. So far, from the horror aspect, the mission for this mission, before this mission, was the most yucky and the most the most um, goosebumps inducing one. This one here is just kinda ridiculous I would say. It is so far from reality that it just seems more ridiculous than horror I would say. So this mission actually is less bad than the mission before. But we are still at the beginning of this um, this customer here. Let's see what we will find deeper inside. You jinxed it. I, I jinxed what? So far this mission is not really a um, horror, I would say. Okay, next part. Let's see what the next part brings for us. Because, yeah, but I found out how the game is built up. We always have three parts. It's like descending colon, traversing colon, and ascending colon. Ooh. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> you think this isn't um, as ho It is not as horror. The previous mission was much more horror. This is just... Uh. You should have saved the fart points. <laughs> well, there are more fart points to come. I do wonder why the music is picking up this much. Oh yeah, that was... Oh! Hello, fingers! Yes, those are eyes and ears and fingers. Isn't this a lovely area to be? Can you um, can you scan them? Oh yeah, I can. I, I I I forgot to scan them. Yeah, I will scan the ears and the fingers. But first, I want to high five the fingers. High five! High five! High five! <laughs> Let me high five the fingies. A human finger growing inside the colon. Break it off and flush it out of the colon for analysis. Okay, what does the ear say? A human ear growing inside the colon. Remove it from the colon so it can be analyz analyzed. So they said to like grab it out. Yeah, those are palm pulleys.
analyze it exactly. I mean, if this person really can grow fingers and ears in their colon, then this person would be the perfect person for any transplants. This person would be like the perfect transplant person. You, 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 you get where, what I am thinking of? If you miss a an ear, if you miss a finger or something like this, just go to this person, crawl up their butt and take it. They grow them um, on mass. <laughs> Come on. And then the fun thing, in the middle of all this, you just see one piece of corn. There is all this eldritch horror stuff, one piece of corn. <laughs> This is just... yeah. <laughs> yes, Futsuki. Why are, why are you looking like this? Don't you like the finger farm? I mean, if you need a finger, I have plenty on. I have plenty on hand. Just, just gotta say it. You need a, you need a fatty finger. You need a lanky little finger. I have, I have them all. They're fresh from the finger farm. <laughs> Stop it! Don't bump me. I'm just, I'm just running a business here, Futski. It's a finger farm. It's freshly harvested fingers. Don't you want them? Now you have the deal. Um, Smells like nose. I'm wondering if we find a nose in the third part of the column. Or toes. <laughs> beans! Come on, get off. We find some beans in the next one. Then it comes in and tickle tickle. Yes. <laughs> tickle 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 tickle. Yeah, who's a little tickle and bean? <laughs> I'm scared of it being a butt inside of a butt. Hmm. Well, if Futski is in the butt, then it technically is a butt inside of the butt. Because Futski does have a butt. And you have your regular corn here. Oh, look, it's, it's, it's ears, it's teeth, and it's corn. One piece of corn. My cat is interested in the stream. <laughs> well, then your cat might be a future um, colonoscopy doctor. Mm. 
But yeah, cats sometimes like the weirdest things. But nice to see that I'm not only interesting for people, that I'm also interesting for cats. I don't know what to think. He never sleeps on me, but he does now. <laughs> huh. Okay. Seems I have this magnetic um, attraction to cats. You might also say I'm a pussy magnet. What? <laughs> Don't punk me for that. <laughs> uh. Well, I did hear a few times that people do like my voice. So it could be. He's purring. Aww, cute. Adorable. Because yeah, just like um, on my Monday stream, where I streamed Firewatch, I also had people like coming in and saying, Ah, oh, it is just so nice to to listen to your voice while just doing other things. And my voice is soothing and so nice. Oh, third part. Which really makes me happy, actually. That people find my voice is nice and that they just can relax to it. Because... I am more of a relaxed streamer, so if people can actually relax with my voice, that's that's a pretty pretty nice thing to hear for me. But yeah, give your cats a lot of gentle patsies for me. Okay, do we find noses now in the third part? What's this? Imagine finding a fork in the tunnel. Well, it looks like we have found like razor teeth. Shark teeth. A large inhuman tooth is growing from the inside of the column. And get a hydrate. Yes, yes. <coughs> Phew, don't do it. Nah. Are we gonna find Ranek in a tunnel? Yes. I was the column all along. <laughs> Well, who says that this is just a colon a colonoscopy um, scope inside the patient? Who says it's not a meerkat POV and game? I'm actually crawling through here and dealing with all of this shit. Like super soldier. <laughs> Fighting my way through this. Okay, we have this already. I'm wondering why the music is like this. Come on, get out. My cat is now watching. I'm in tears. Aww, cutie cat. <laughs> Well, your cat knows what is good program, I guess. <laughs> but it's cute. Okay. Doesn't look like there is much right now here. It, to be honest, I would have imagined more in the third part. Because the third part always was like the most dirty so far. I want to cuddle kitties. Aww. Well, you can cuddle a meerkat. A meerkatty. Meerkat. Meerkat kitty. <laughs> because meerkats are actually um, filifo um, filiformia. That means we are cat-like, just like hyenas. Hyenas are also um, cat-like um, species, like meerkats. 
I know on that tooth profile. Ah, uh, you do? It does, it, at first it looked like a shark tooth, but shark tooths are actually much more um, narrower and much more wider. So those look more like alligator tooths for me. Like alligators do have like this or T-Rexes or other bigger carnivores. Could also be like um, wolf incisors, like the wolf in in how how do how do you call Schneidezahn in English? Canines, I think it's called. Like a large canines or wolves also have like canines, canines. Not long, and I could redeem the song again. <gasps> but you wouldn't do. Tooth anus. Exactly. <laughs> okay, there's a long part of... What's that? What is that? Cue the Dark Souls boss music. I think we are... We, I think we are at the place where we cue Dark Souls boss music. Uh, in fun fact, in Spanish we call have a bush called Canine Rose. Ah, oh, interesting. What the f are you? It's himself, but in it appears to be a small version of our patient's head. It is growing from within his colon, and it is demanding food. What the fuck? Uh, okay, just uh, another normal uh, day inside of my customer's butt, I guess. Why is there a head in there? Hello, hello, Visor. And that is actually the head of the person we are inside of. I don't know what eldritch horror um, became him, but it's weird. And there is nothing in the medical literature that explains what you just saw. Um, you're German. This is not your customer. And this is not your customer's butt. He is not a customer because healthcare is socialized. A client, then. He's my client. Because you're a uh, patient. Yeah, patient was the correct word. Yes, he's he still is my patient. But after it was all over, your patient demeanor had changed completely. He stood up straight, with a big smile on his face. He thanked you profusely. Profusely? And left your office looking like a new man. And he had nothing to say about his face sliding out of his butt. Did he not even mention that? And thank you for the claps. Well, we still have Friday, so who knows what we will find on Friday. <laughs> Customer kind of implies that he's getting some sort of service. Well, you are getting medical service. I would be a little bit alarmed. I would be a little bit much alarmed. <laughs> you, clear, you cleared the rest of the day's schedule and went home early. You went with your wife to your favorite park for a nice stroll. Afterwards, you both sat on a bench by the lake and fed the ducks. You are glad tomorrow is Friday. Well, 
I guess Friday will be the last day because it's a five days work week. I guess. Let's see what our final final impatient has. Friday, the blockage. My bowels feel very strange and uncomfortable, like I have something stuck inside of me. And the problem has become worse over the past week. I hope it's not a tumor or anything like that. I felt perfectly fine until a week ago. And yeah, apparently tumors can have teeth in it. I do know. Um, that, um, that I do know that you can actually have like... Um, twin tumors inside, which can be filled with hair and teeth and such stuff. I do know that. I just would have not have expected that inside of a c person's colon. Tumors take a lot longer to grow and do polyps and similar problems. I am less inclined to believe that you have something growing inside of you. We won't know until we look, but it may be food related. Do you chew your food sufficiently? Yes, of course. I have mostly eaten soup in the past week. And peanuts. And food skis. I work in the circus with elephants and I have access to a lot of peanuts. Um, do you eat an unusually um, large amount or quality of um, peanuts? Quantity of peanuts. Only a handful or two per day. I sort of constant, constantly nibble on them. Listen to what, little Fuski? <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't eat those peanuts. Uh, maybe he has like a um, chunky peanut butter inside of him that clocks it up. Are your bowel movements unusual? My bowel movements are perfectly normal as far as I can tell. Though in the past week they have been smaller in size, which I find concerning. What's up with his face and his eyebrows? <laughs> and I know it is just an indie game by a small person um, group. Uh, I, I don't even think it was a group. I think it was just one person making this game. But yeah. <laughs> also, I'm eating peanuts right now. Ah, uh, Fuski. Are you my client? <laughs> my food intake has not changed. Very strange indeed. I think I shall loop m um, up my instruments and dive right in. Oh, dive right in you should. Be gentle, it's my first time. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Why do I find this so funny? <laughs> Always. Only we know. <laughs> this game is amazing. What the fuck? <laughs> you just redeemed it, haven't you? Let me let me quickly see. Didn't you? Oh, then it's, then it's a once per um, once per stream redeem. Let me quickly check what it is. Um, re um, rewards. Did I have it once per stream or once per person per stream? Let me quickly check how I did this. Edit. Um, limited redemptions per stream and limited redemption per. Yes, it's one per stream. Okay. I mean, if you want to, I can put it up for you quickly. You should be able to redeem it now, if you want to. I send it up to two times per stream. So that you... But for the next time it is... I usually just sing like once a stream, because... 
I don't want to have people be too much annoyed by my singing. <laughs> But you could, um, I might have put it up to two, so you could do it right now. Okay, can just wait for the next time. Okay, also fine by me. Then I will change it back to one. Because I'm never sure if the people actually enjoy me singing, and so I just put it like to them only once per stream. Because, yeah, I'm not the best, I know. But, uh, but I'm getting better. Okay, let's see. What is his trouble? This one is um, a polyp, I think, a normal. Colon polyp, yes. So far, so good. Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, I see blood running out there. Is it also a polyp? This looks differently. Undigested peanut. It looks harmless, but it is best to flush it. Okay, I can just flush those. I honestly would have called off work at this point. <laughs> Fuck it, this is too much. I don't want to do this. <laughs> but I mean... Aha, uh -huh. parasite. I think it's parasite time again. This is parasite poop. A piece of excrement, but not from a human. Yep, we are dealing with parasites again. But that's much more than just nibbling on peanut butter, on um, peanuts. He eats them with the shell. That's more than just nibbling on peanuts. You can tell me it's just nibbling on them here and there. It doesn't shoot him either. Exactly. Uski, are you chewing your peanuts? Or do we have to clean them out too? Nom, 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 nom. The patient ate the peanut hole. He's sickly an elephant. But even elephants chew them. You probably should go in and check yourself. Well, I do. I am already checking Fu and Futsuki. This might be this, this. This just could be you, you know. We could just call this patient Futsuki because, yeah, you both eat um, peanuts. Okay, Futsuki. What for other um, secrets do you have in here? Uh, Futski, why do you have a door inside of your butt? Did I did I just find my home? Do I have, do I have, do I have to knock? What? What the fuck am I seeing here? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck am I seeing here? <laughs> uh, yes. Hello. <laughs> Did they eat an entire house? Well, I don't think that I have wiped my shoes as I walked in here. So... I don't think um, I came here without wiping my foot, my my foots, 
my 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 shoes. What are those for? Are those teeth again? A fang embedded in the column. How did this get here? Remove it and flush it out. Well... If you ask me, I have no idea what will await us here. Because I would... I... I did expect a lot of things. But I did not expect a... Fucking... Door. <laughs> Don't panic, Yoshi. All will be well. All will be well. You're here with a soldier. I can I can handle myself, um, Yoshi. All will be good. The tapeworm just made himself at home. Pretty much. Pretty much made themselves at home. Why did the music stop so suddenly? No. No, don't, don't, don't panic, Yoshi. It's all good. Just come below my shirt and you're all safe. Just snuck below my shirt. Listen to the soothing heartbeat. And it all will be, it all will be well. Yes, exactly. Okay. The circus music? Why is there circus music inside? I'm charging my laser. That's... <laughs> What the fuck? What the fuck? Is is this person like Mr. Slave and has entire people up inside of their ass? Is this person like Dr. um Dr. Um, uh, Mr. Slave from South Park? <laughs> Why you're saying that, Fusky? Only because I could be the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> My man, it's not a clown. He's an entire circus. <laughs> Don't, no need to panic. You're all fine, my little boys. You're all fine. I all will protect you. It's just a clown. Also, I'm um, um, on the on the topic of clowns. Is anyone in here in my chat that is actually afraid of clowns? Because I know clowns are an in for some people. An extreme horror. It is just a clown. Oh yeah, but we have one person that is actually afraid of clowns here. While getting um, killed by a killer clown. Ah, this is so passé. Really? A clown? Get with the time, honey. Give it the time, honey. <laughs> this is so 1916. <laughs> have you been scanning everything? I have been having scanning the teeth and stuff, but I haven't scanned the clown yet. 
Can I scan the clown? I have been scanning the things that I remember. I did. I did remember. I did scan these fangs. I think. Um, fang embedded. I did get it. Yes. I did scan those. Either they nomed an alien clown hat, or the alien clown hat just squirmed inside um, at the night. That's why you always have to put a blanket over your butt. Because if you let your butt um, without a blanket and let it hang outside of your bed, um, bam, evil clowns can squirm up your butt, you know? <laughs> That's why you always keep your butt on your bed, not hanging over, and always a blanket over. <laughs> but, I mean, the person said they are working at a, at a circus. And they have elephants there, and they also have clowns there. What if the cannon stunt? Don't 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 throw me around. Let let me cook. What if the cannon stunt of the clowns, you know, shooting out of a cannon, went wrong, and they shot the clown, woof, straight up this guy. <laughs> The clown car drove up his ass. Exactly. Who says it's not something like this? I can scan him now. That appears to be a clown. It does. And he looks like he has seen some shit. And they only modeled the model from one side. They didn't even care to give the clown a back of the head. <laughs> Is he spitting out parasites? The car got drove off his ass. Exactly, yes. But it must be like some kind of weird clown because he's spitting out parasites. I was already wondering what for kind of parasites we would find, as we have seen the parasite um, poop at the former parts of the of the colon but I didn't know that he would have them now you need to go up the clowns um, rear guard and take his parasites out maybe he looks scared though look at this poor clown he looks so scared oh Yes. Um, yes. Um, what do I have to do? Got your nose. Got your nose. Maybe this? Um, what do you have to do with your clown? Wet him? 
da schimmert. Wo hast du... No. Wow! Oh, it was his eye. I had a... Oh, oh, oh. I had to pop his eye. That actually scared me. I, I went closer and then suddenly... Push. That, that sound actually scared me a little bit. I was like, what the fuck? Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, as, as a meerkat, I say, those surely make a great protein um, source. You can make a parasite sandwich. Just don't forget to properly chew. Those you have to properly chew. Yeah. What the fuck is happening here? Ranek, I retain my right to cancel my subscription. No! I need a little food ski inside of me. Stay. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, now it should be pretty easy to deal with him. Yeah, probably. I mean, he is a blind clown lodged inside of a butt. There should not be too much that he can't do. But I um, did you notice that it is so much bigger here now the colon than like in the other um, places we had. This is so such a well stretched out individual. I just Okay. Just flush it all out. Get the proteins out. This is a good protein source. Yum 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 yum. <laughs> uh, this, this, it, it's, it's always the sounds that get me. It's always the sound that gives me these this, this goosebumps on my on my arms. It's it's less the visuals, but it's more the sounds. I'm 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 a very sound person. Um, great game to chew gum to, exactly. <laughs> just imagine it's some gooey um, little parasites that you just munch, 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 munch. <laughs> a triumphant end to a challenging week. All of our patients went on to make a full recovery. Presenting to the emergency room. Who knows those videos? <laughs> the medical research community was thrilled with all of the data and specimens you provided them with. But you felt you had reached your peak as a practitioner and decided to retire. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh. What about that woman you killed? We don't count that woman. It was... Her... It was... We had complications with that woman, you know? And the complications were a very inquisitive meerkat that wanted to see what's happening. <laughs> RV is presenting with half his Twitch chat on his belly. Yes. <laughs> Presenting to the emergency room. I, I do love his videos. If if the people don't know yet, it's from Chabi Imu. Um, you occasionally give guest lectures at all the important medical schools and conferences all around the world. 
Life is peaceful, and you devote your time to your family and your hobbies, which is batology. <laughs> you live out the rest of your life in happiness. Starred and um, scarred by what you have seen in your last week. The end. I got the good ending. 44 people got the good ending. Wait, you can have a bad ending too? And only 44% got the good ending? Okay, how do we get the bad ending? I wanna... S Let me check how quickly we can get the bad ending. If the bad ending is done quickly, then I might do it as well. But if the bad ending is, is a long to make, then revenge of the colon how to bad ending. Let's see. Ah, if you if you do multiple claims of malpractice, then it's the bad ending. But we only did one bad um, bad um, malpractice. That was the one with the shotgun. So I basically would have to play the entire game again, and I don't want to play the entire game again and do malpractice everywhere. Or you say you just don't do anything and just move by? That would also take quite a long time. Yeah, I don't think that I will do the bad ending. We could watch the bad ending. Um... Let me first quit out of the game, so that we don't have the music in the background. Uh, revenge of the Colon... Bad ending. Let's see. Um, give me win... not wrong display capture. Give me this capture with this here. Yes. The bad ending. Let's you probably see. Probably didn't expect to see me here again. <laughs> no, I didn't. Going to destroy. Uh, yeah. So that's what we did. That's all we're gonna do because I'm Doctor Death to patient. Okay. This is just putting them out. It? Yeah. Oh wait, 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 This is what we did, the bad ending. What is the bad Pearl. ending here? That's the end of Make the Pearl. That was it. Okay, it's just what we did too. Then we had this person. Let's see. I uh, just moved by, or what? No, we this did guy. that exactly now, as well, to too. Okay. Has to be the worst week of your life. Okay, let's, let's see. How see. Terrible this, is. <laughs> this has to be the worst week of your life. The hospital's board of directors called a special meeting about you. They discussed several accusations of medical malpractice alleged against you. You tried explaining all of the horrible events that happened this past week but they did not listen. Instead, they asked you to retire and the medical malpractice accusations would go away. You had no choice but to agree. You now live in a quiet and inconsequential life. You cannot stop the nightmares. The end. Okay. <laughs> Quietly asked to leave is the name of the- Okay, basically it's just him saying, ah, oh, you fucked up too many times. You have to go. Bye. Well, 
Let's see. Who do we want to rate from here? Meow. Do we want to go to Light Yin? Or do we want to go to... Um, we could also go to Tayo. Which one of those people you would like to go most likely? Phew. Yeah. Okay, one redeem done for you. Stop, stop. Yeah. <laughs> you messed up. Now retire and do your quiet life. Exactly. I do very much enjoy to watch Light Yin. So let's just raid Light Yin. I do very much enjoy their stream. And they are a wonderful, wonderful person. Um. Warm well, raid message. What is. Um. No. Lick the yin. And put any lick emote in that you have. This is our raid message. And thank you for being here, Fairy Cures. And thank you for all of the follows. And it was. Very, very lovely to have you all here with this very strange game. <laughs> but I hope you did. Oh, I miss Ronic. I miss you too, Low Light Yin. Oh, give big hugs to all you all. You all sweet beans. I do love you all. And I hope I will see some or maybe even all of you in my next stream. But until that, Bye. Love you all and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye.